Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm pretty sure by now that many of you are aware of the 20 year old guy named Dmitry Andrechenko from Missouri who walks into a Walmart open carrying a rifle, a handgun, he had a vest with plates on, and he did this while recording himself. He was trying to get the attention watch the reaction of the people most likely to become a hero of the 2A community or what I think is to record a video put it up on the internet and make a lot of money like that was the motive he said he was there to see if Walmart supports his second amendment rights now he purchased his rifle just to do this stunt how he got the handgun being a 20 year old guy I have no idea but he's going to have to explain that. Now, prior to doing this, he came up with this idea. He wanted to be the man and record it. He asked his wife to record it. She said, no, it's a bad idea. Do not do this. And then later she explained to the, the law enforcement that he's an immature boy. He asked his sister to do it. She said, no, the timing couldn't be worse. So he did this on his own to gauge the reaction of the people at Walmart. Now this is a poser. This is not a second amendment supporter who believes in open carrying. I have no problem with open carrying at all. I personally don't do it too often, but people that want to open carry that is definitely within their rights to do so. We have many people in Michigan who open carry. We have a strong militia presence here. They open carry. They do so with the understanding that their goal is to protect their community, not gain attention, be a poser, and set the Second Amendment cause back further. And that's exactly what happened here. Now this guy, after he decided to do this, he's creating panic in Walmart, and an off-duty firefighter who is a legal concealed carry person holds that guy at gunpoint until police arrive. He is now charged with terrorism. So instead of people looking at the firefighter who did something good for the community at Walmart, they look at this guy and say, well, that's what those uh, Second Amendment supporters are like. That, that's what they're like. They're trying to jam this stuff down our throats. No, we're not. Now, before I go any further, is there a time to jam this stuff down people's throats? Absolutely. We have to make our voices heard. We have to, to stand united. We have to uh, boldly support our Second Amendment cause. So absolutely there's a time and place for that. The day after a, a, a horrible situation in our country and walking around trying to scare people is the, the wrong motive. And so he got charged with terrorism. Now, he, he, like, he's got like a $10,000 fine potentially and some prison time for doing this. We'll have to see how it all works out. This also reminds me of a couple years ago when two guys in this area in Michigan walk into a Dearborn Police Department. They wanted to file a complaint. They did the same thing. They had uh, recording everything. They, they were all uh, camoed up. No problem being camoed up. They were open carrying. No problem open carrying. But it's the motive. What are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to upload a video, put it on the internet, and be heroes amongst the two-way community and say, see, look at, look at me, I'm fighting for our rights. You are setting us back from supporting our rights because people look at you and label us all that type of psychotic person who's nothing more than an attention whore. See, I don't want to be an attention whore. I want to be an advocate for the Second Amendment, for personal protection. I don't want these politicians out, uh, you know, falsely making up lies so they can take our rights away. All right? And yes, I do it on the internet. But I'm trying to do it in a way that is supportive and gains the attention of many people that could come on board, other people on the fence. This turns people away. All right, when you actually create a terrorist situation where they're not sure what he's going to do. So you got mothers and children in there shopping for school and they're running away because they see this idiot who's recording everything. And he bought the rifle just to do this. And therein lies the problem. So when we look at situations like this, we see that this guy's nothing more than a tool, an attention whore who is setting us back. And we should not stand for it. There are too many good people supporting the Second Amendment who are making good examples for everybody else to allow this idiot to set us back. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share.
I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.